I'm not gonna lie. I'm just someone who loves playing with camera gear, flying drones, and loves creating videos with them. But despite my efforts in the editing room, I always felt that my videos were missing that special something, that enchanting charm that could be found in movies like Lost in Translation. And no, it isn't rose-tinted glasses, because there are actually a lot of imperfections that today we try to get rid of. It's those imperfections that actually make film feel and look better, and if you can't seem to get that with modern digital footage, then this video is for you. As luck would have it, the answer reached out to me to do a review with a 30-day free trial and this video is sponsored by the answer. But I'm free to share my honest opinions. So what is the answer? The answer is the software that you drop onto your clips to get analog feature film looks all the way to full-blown 8mm old school clips easily. It's a complete comprehensive film emulation tool built from the ground up that works on your clips, calculating the various aspects that takes into account the principles of film, and it changes your footage entirely, unlike a LUT which just overlays. It's available for DaVinci, Premiere Pro, After Effects, Final Cut Pro, and the answer is even available on iPhone. And speaking of iPhone, I call it a compact version of its bigger desktop brother, it has pretty much all the same features and it's pretty amazing how you can get film-like quality all on your phone. Film grain, halation, bloom and other options transforms shots effortlessly. But even if you choose to keep the digital look, adding effects like bloom and halation give off nice soft glows. Personally, after using it for a month in Premiere Pro, it was easier to get the looks that I always wanted. Currently with 63 pre-built camera types, the software then calibrates itself around the footage so you can start working with it better. But the good thing is that the Hanser works very well even if your camera isn't in the list or if you don't choose that option. I've tested and found that it worked great on all my clips even with my DJI Pocket 3. You also have a ton of film styles to play around with to match your desired look. And here, under Film Developer, once enabled, you can instantly see by just using Color Boost how it brought back the colors from my flat footage, but not in an oversaturated, jarring way. Halation and Bloom are two things I'm in love with that add that nice subtle glow, which just looks great no matter what. It even has a false color monitor under the Monitor tab, making it an almost one-stop grading shop and it's free as a plugin on the Hanser's website. Finally, there is a LUT generator option, however, I was unable to create any due to it being a trial version. I wished that the Hanser's tabs and different effects told you in detail, preferably with a side note what each one did, because it can seem intimidating for beginners. However, the names of the effects do tell you in a way what each one does, and it's also just a matter of adjusting the values up or down or on and off to see what they do or googling it once. The biggest gripe I have with the answer is every time you drop it onto your clip, it cranks everything up to what it seems like 200%. You then basically have to work your way backwards and since most of us aren't professional colorists, it can again be quite off-putting. I just wish that when you put it onto your clips, it goes to a nice sweet spot. Also related to this, the different film styles tab makes you click onto each one every time you want to check out the look. Maybe they could incorporate a click once and use arrow keys for an even quicker grading experience. Small quality of life improvement suggestion. Also, using the Hanser is pretty GPU intensive. It slowed down the playback even with proxy footage. But I guess it's the software calculating everything needed for your clips. The price tag of the Hanser Pro is also something I think most of us would be afraid of in this economy. 
The full package where you get all the bells and whistles is pretty expensive at 449 USD. And there are other monthly plans and individual plugins, but it's not worth just to get those as all or most of those plugins are in the pro or light version, which is by the way, a more budget friendly 199 USD. No worries, watch till the end because there is a special code in which you can get 10% off any purchase from Dehancer. To cap it off, despite some drawbacks in price, playback stutter, and initial confusion, the value and ease Dehancer brings for beautiful looking analog footage with options to tweak quickly for desired film looks are unmatched. And despite its name, it actually enhanced the feel of my videos so much that Dehancer has become my go-to choice whenever I edit videos and want that film-like quality. And as mentioned earlier, my YouTube subscribers can use the code on screen to get 10% off when you purchase Dehancer. Thank you for watching and keep creating.